Hello everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and today I have an awesome video! So, so cool! This is like my pre-Christmas present, actually. In my hand is a part from the Samsung Service Center. This is Charlene's brand new face! Now, Charlene is a Galaxy S3, and I don't know if you've been watching this video series. I'll put some links in the description so you can go and check them out. But what I had done was I bricked Charlene. Now, I didn't brick the entire phone, I bricked the touchscreen controller. The touchscreen controller is that thing that allows taps to be registered and understood on your touchscreen, and that just wasn't working anymore. And I did that one careless night by flashing the wrong kernel for CF root because I wanted to root the phone. Yeah, and it was interesting because the darn thing was actually successful. You wouldn't know that anything was wrong until I saw that there was no super user on the phone and I wondered if it was actually rooted. So I booted into recovery to try to see what was going on and it freaked out. All hell broke loose at that point. The screen was going mad and finally when I got it to boot again, there was no touch screen. It was just dead entirely. I tried reflashing the correct kernel, I tried reflashing the correct ROMs, people were saying to do all kinds of crazy things like reflash the bootloaders or to repartition, and none of that would have worked because it was indeed the touchscreen controller, as I had a chance to actually test this, and yes, it fixes the problem, so we're going to reconstruct Charlene from scratch. I did have a white Galaxy S3, but this is now a red version, so she's going to be a cheeky redhead, and I'm incredibly excited, I'm going to nerd out, but before I do any of that, I have to thank NY Mobile Parts, who is an awesome eBay company which has supplied me with this touch screen. They're located in the United States, which is incredibly convenient for me because I'll be going to France in January. And those cheap Hong Kong companies wanted to take 15 or so business days, excluding the weekends, which means I probably wouldn't have gotten the screen until around March sometime because I would have been gone. So located in the United States, they've got free quick shipping. They also expedite shipping if you'd like to, which is something that those Hong Kong companies don't do for some reason. They ship worldwide. They're competitively priced, especially if you get one of their screens when they first get their stock in. They run about $220, $230, which is great because other United States companies were charging like $300, $350 for a display for the i9300. That's... That was inexcusable. They also have fantastic communication. That was something that the Hong Kong companies fell through on as well. They just didn't get back to me. I don't know if they just didn't speak English or what. They also get all their parts directly from the Samsung Service Center in Europe, which means that they're brand new. They're not bummed off a Galaxy S3 that was used and then sold or whatever. I don't know any companies that actually do this, but I've heard rumors, and at least I know that this company is legitimate, and this is, in fact, a brand new part. So again, thank you so much, NY Mobile Parts. I am so excited, so, so excited. Let's go reassemble Charlene. And I will show you that she is working, and that's, that's just going to be so cool. So here we have the new screen assembly. This is, again, brand new, and we're going to be regenerating Charlene Doctor Who style. You know, I don't know if any of you are going to get that reference, but when Doctor Who dies, he doesn't actually die. He kind of just regenerates and becomes different looking with a different personality, but it's essentially the same guy. So we're going to make Charlene essentially the same girl. In a previous video, I had shown how to take apart the Galaxy S3. I did disassemble Charlene on camera and I showed all the pieces, so I'm going to put them all back in here. But what you have included with this screen assembly is the Super AMOLED display, you've got your digitizer, you've got your Gorilla Glass 2. Then on the inside, you have the contacts for the home button. This goes onto the motherboard and powers the home button. Then you've got the touchscreen controller, which I had shown you. This is the Melfas, or Melfas controller that had been bricked and would no longer communicate with the motherboard. So that is all here. That along with the plastic bezel and the magnesium aluminum alloy chassis. So we will go ahead and assemble this now. I've pre-installed the power button and the volume rocker switch because that did not come with these. That was when I was testing out the display to make sure that the controller was working and it was recognizing my taps. So yes, that is all working and fine and dandy. So we are going to go ahead and pull off this blue piece here that covers the adhesive that is for the LED or receiver and also for your volume rocker. So here is the piece here that powers the LED, your receiver, and your volume rocker. So we're going to lay that in place. We're going to use this flat-headed screwdriver and to try to get the volume rocker back into place. Okay. 
I just had some double-sided adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and push that down, make sure it's secure in place. The buttons are clicking, so that's a success. I'm going to make sure it goes over this little notch here so it stays flat in place. Put some pressure down lightly for the LED. That front receiver is not wanting to stay in there. So there we are with our very first piece now installed. Next we have here several pieces that are all in one. You've got your proximity sensor and you've also got your front facing camera. That should seat in there fairly easily. It goes right here. Push that gently in place. This was only held together by a single screw. We're going to screw that back together. So we've got here a very teeny tiny little screw that is flat. The screwdriver here is actually a zero zero screwdriver that I got in a precision tool kit. Very nice that it is now in place. Next, we've got our vibrating module that was only held in to the phone with a little bit of double-sided adhesive. That should go in fairly easily. Perfect. Next, I'm going to take off the adhesive that we have over this silicone piece. This is for the heat sink helps to conduct heat away from your CPU. You don't want that to burn up. Now here is Charlene's brain that I'm going to put into this now. It should be fairly easy. Move the ribbon cable connector out of the way. Same for the display ribbon cable connector. We're going to shimmy it a little bit in place. We're going to seat the camera now very gently. This is the back facing camera. Now we're going to connect to some ribbon cables. This one here is for the receiver. This one here is for the front facing camera. Now we've got the ribbon cable connector for the AMOLED display. Now here we have our Wi-Fi antenna, which I'm going to put the board right here. Press that down firmly as it's only attached by double-sided adhesive. Now there's a channel right here that this sits in. Take the flat-headed screwdriver, secure it in place. This is a piece of tape that came on here. We're just going to seat that down again. Now we're going to hold this up really close so that you can see this. This is the Wi-Fi connector. And we've got a little pin on the board to put it on. snaps in place fairly easily. This little stubborn thing is not wanting to seat. Just push it back in very gently. Perfect. Now here we have the SIM card tray as well as the SD card tray and that's just got a single ribbon cable. I find that it's actually easiest to connect it first so that it seats in place correctly. So you've got a ribbon connector on the board. I'm just going to line that up. Set it down. Press that firmly in place, but again gently. Now it's only held on by a double-sided adhesive, so I'm just going to press it down in place over everything on here. This is affixed to the motherboard with a single screw. Again, it's the exact same screwdriver. This is a zero, zero screwdriver. There we are. That 
it's starting to look like a phone again inside. Whoopee! So now we have part of the front housing and inside of it are a couple antennas. And we've also got the speaker and the headphone jack that is assembled all into this one piece. There is a single ribbon connector and we'll go ahead and now attach this. It just snaps into place. Snap. 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 Now we're going to lightly press on this ribbon connector that is for the back speaker. That is now clicked in place. Now we've got the final piece before we get the screws in. I want to keep special attention to this because here is my camera lens and I don't want any dust inside of that. Actually looks good to me, so we're just going to seat that down. And this should snap in very easily along the bottom. Nice snaps. Reassuring snaps. Swell! So now all we need to do is to screw it all together. And here we have 10 small screws, all of the exact same size, that go around the whole housing. So we can pick any of the ones that we'd like at any order. Again, this uses the exact same screwdriver that we've been using the entire time. This is the double zero screwdriver, precision, Phillips. Poor Charlene. Now we are on our very last screw. <laughs> My heart is beating so fast right now. This is funny. My hands are starting to shake. Let's get into that moment of truth, people. That is now secure and in place. The whole thing is now rebuilt. Power button is clicky. Volume rocker is clicky. Everything looks like it's assembled correctly. Now, here's the screen. Brand new screen in a two-tone silly body. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, let me mention, these little gasket things that are sitting here, they actually were provided inside of the phone as well as the silicone piece for the heat sink, so I can just discard those. We'll check around here, make sure I've got everything. I think everything's now inside the phone. Now, here is the battery. And also the back cover. What do you think of the two-toned? Eh? Eh? Ah, I don't know. I'll decide. Here we go. It powers on! It vibrated, so that vibration module's working. The touch screen works. There we go. Ah, the volume works. This is so sweet. So, so sweet. So sweet, so sweet. I've never found that more entertaining. Nice, strong vibrator. Nice, nice, nice. So we're gonna go get a SIM card and a memory card and do some diagnostics. Now for the sake of this test out here, I have the T-Mobile SIM card in here that was in my Galaxy Note 2. I don't care about the speed, I just wanna make sure everything's working. And then there's the SD card. Go ahead and put the back cover on, which I'm gonna have to change now because it's kinda gooped up from what I had done to Charlene's old face. Just said preparing SD card. No SIM inserted, I'm gonna restart the phone. It seems to be something with T-Mobile SIM cards. There we go, it says Edge, so yay! Everything is working. Preparing, checking for errors, good, good, good. Everything looks very, very awesome. We're gonna test out the camera now. Take a picture of Jose.
Works fine. Okay, so now we're gonna test out that front-facing camera. Hi! We're gonna do another diagnostic. We're gonna go under phone, and we are going to hit star, pound, zero star, pound. That brings us up to the Samsung diagnostic. Hit red. I've already looked at my screen. I didn't see any dead red pixels, which is fantastic. There were no dead green pixels. There were no dead blue pixels. You can hear the receiver. So that means the receiver is working, which is the, what you hear from your earpiece. Very strong vibration. Excellent. Yep, we've already got the back facing camera. This is all the sensors. So it looks like the barometer. Proximity sensor works. Got your gyroscope working. Light sensor. That's working just fine. Sweet. Check out the touch screen. You should be able to trace your finger over all of these. Now, despite my accuracy, it looks like it's working very well. Pass. Sleeps. Speaker. Sub key is to check out all the keys. So, down volume, up, power, home button. We've got capacitive, other capacitive. Let's see what other buttons are on here. I think we've actually got them all. Front camera. Yes, we've already said hello. LED. LED works really well here. We've got the red. Eh, red. We've got green. And actually, it does show green on here, even though this is whole red chassis. And we've got blue. And success. Not too interested in the low frequency test, but everything is working perfectly now. This is great. I'm going to call my mom from downstairs. This I won't show on camera. It's calling. Hello? Hi. Yes? I'm just testing out my phone. I just put it back together. It's working. Cool. Are you done now? Can you come down here? In a minute. Okay, bye. Freaking sweet, people! You see? It is now fixed! I am so uber excited now. This is, this is like beyond excitement. I just need to get myself a new back cover because this one's kind of cracking really badly and not wanting to stay on after what I've done to it. So you see that the problem was indeed with the touchscreen controller and now everything is back together and it's working. It's great. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to test. My back LED assistive light. So thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter. You can ask to be my friend on Facebook. I promise I will add you. I've been using it as a forum and we get to have all kinds of fun there. I can get to know you. Or if I don't have a chance to talk to you, there's other people on there who would be glad to answer your questions as well. So it's been a really cool, fun community. You can also add me on Google Plus. You can get to all of this from my YouTube main channel page. You know, type in my channel or whatever, click the channel button, and on that right hand side will be the links for that. So I am so excited. So, so excited. Charlene, you look so pretty in your new red. Oh. Have a good night, everybody. Yay! Don't forget to check out the other videos with Charlene. There is one where I do a complete take apart of the original Galaxy S3, the one that was damaged. And then there's also a destruction video of Charlene's face. So all of this was true and not enacted in any way, and I'm just so happy now, yay! And again, thank you so much, NY Mobile Parts.